Uh, you're looking at a thirty thousand dollar vehicle. Correct. Most customers on a vehicle in this price range want to put down somewhere between twenty five to thirty percent. In your particular case, that's going to be about seventy five hundred to nine thousand dollars as their initial investment. Did you have one of those numbers in mind, or did you have another one? Uh, I was thinking a little less, to be honest with you. Okay. Look, not a problem. Uh, Mark, we're going to do it your way. Uh, we follow the golden rule here. You've got the gold. You make the rules. However, could I share with you why of what's in it for you if you do put some money down today? Yeah. Okay. Number one, the key to putting yourself in a good financial position is reducing the balance to finance. All right? The further you reduce the balance to finance, the cooler the things that happen to you are. For like, well, for example, you didn't strike me as the type of guy that wanted to leave here with the highest payment in your neighborhood tonight. Was I right about that? Yeah. Okay. I would. So the lower the balance to finance, the lower your monthly investment. All right? You also told me that you want to save some money today, correct? Yes, we wouldn't. The smaller the balance to finance, the fewer the finance charges you pay, regardless of who finances the vehicle. Again, one of our lenders, one of your lenders, or Aunt Millie. The smaller the balance to finance, the fewer the uh, finance charges, which means it saves money. And when you reduce the balance to finance, Mark, you have the option to do something most people don't have to do. They don't have the option to do. And that's the option to shorten the term. Because when you shorten the term, you further reduce the amount of the finance charges you pay, which saves you money yet again. And you also gain some freedom. You know, every single day, uh, Mark, somebody shows up at our store. They're excited about buying a new or used vehicle. We're excited about them being here. And a couple hours later, they leave frustrated. We're frustrated, and the reason we're all frustrated is because of negative equity. Because so many people finance vehicles for too long, and they put down too little cash. When they want to trade, they can't. When you reduce the balance to finance, shorten the term, you end up with the freedom to trade sooner, if you so desire. And lastly, when you reduce the balance to finance, shorten the term, um, by putting down cash, you get to the dream payment faster. You know what the dream payment is, don't you? Sure. It's no payment at all. So, Mark, taking into consideration that you can save money not one but two ways. You can reduce the amount of your payment. You can trade sooner if you so desire, and you get to the dream payment faster. How close to 7500 could you come? I think, uh, you know, when I came in here, I was thinking around three grand. I could probably go up to about, I could probably go four. I mean, okay. Push me in the shot. That's a good start. Now, um, taxes are 500 bucks. Uh, other fees are about another 500. Could you put down another grand in order to take care of those? Because most people don't want to finance the taxes. Uh, I think the four, that was me coming up kind of into my max. Okay. So. No problem. I'll stop right there. Yeah. How many how many reasons did I give him to put down money? Seven. Seven. Seven reasons to put down money. Ask me for cash, I'm gonna tell you I don't want to put down any cash. Okay? I think I've got fifty dollars with me. I'd like to keep it all. But give me good reasons to give you fifty dollars. Um, give me a return on my investment because isn't that what this is? Mm -hmm. Save money a couple different ways. I'll give you my fifty dollars. But you've got to give me a couple reasons. Now, a couple. I want you to. When I replay this, I want you to pay attention. When he, when I said, did you have one of these numbers in mind, or did you have another number in mind? He said, oh, I didn't have one of those numbers in mind. I said, don't worry. We're going to do it your way. I do not want to create an unspoken objection here. I don't want him to think that if he doesn't have this much money down, he can't buy a car from us. Exactly. Because if he doesn't have two nickels to rub together, we're still going to try to put this deal together. Mm -hmm. So I, but, but, but before he works out what he wants to put down, I'm going to give him this. And he might say, Steve, those are all great reasons. I got 200 bucks. Take it or leave it. Retake it. Okay? So you have to be, you, have to, you don't want to get too strong with this. 
is this customer education? Yeah. Yes. Is, it, is it the truth? Sure. Yeah. And you'll get more money out of people. Okay? You won't get $4,000 every time. Maybe you get 300 instead of 200 Maybe you get 500 instead of nothing. But if we can get more money out of the customer, obviously it, it's, it's, it's good for the deal structure. It's good for the lender. And in some cases, it's going to make or break the deal. Right? Correct. Okay. Yeah, new cars, I mean, it may or break your pay plan. So. Yeah, and, and again, I... I, I